And I saw Kyle Shanahan say that the number two seed is extremely important to him. Um, so you know his team is going to play. Remember, they're not, they don't only have an opportunity at number one, but they have to lock up number two by winning so that Dallas doesn't get the number two spot. So the fact that the head coach thinks this is really important leads me to believe that they're going to be ready for this. The Cardinals' approach seems to be entirely different. They're likely going to rest their top three offensive weapons in this game due to injury. It looks like no James Conner at running back. At least here midweek, it looks that way. It looks like no DeAndre Hopkins or Marquise Hollywood Brown, their top two receivers, and they don't know who their quarterback's going to be yet. Could be David Blau, could be Trace McSorley, could be Colt McCoy. Again, this game's a little bit interesting because it is going to rain in San Francisco for the next five days. There's going to be rain in this game, although they list it as light rain throughout the four-hour window where this one will be played. Um, Think about the first meeting between these two. It was in Mexico City, and it was played in rain all four quarters, and San Francisco won that game convincingly going away. They went on a 38-7 to run, I think, after falling behind 3-0 in that contest. So um, oh, Sagi Field probably benefits the 49ers with the better running attack and certainly the defensive front to get after the quarterback on the other side. I just don't think that Arizona's personnel – offensively is going to be able to dent San Francisco's defense, which should guys be looking for some type of atonement after last week, yeah. just pulling a complete no-show against Jared Stidham and the, and the Raiders. I mean, 500 total yards and big passing yardage. Um, not like them. They had had 41 sacks on the season coming into that game. They didn't get Stidham one time. It, the Cardinals have allowed 16 sacks in the last four weeks. So I'd expect the San Francisco defensive line to get after it. Um, you know, the first time around, San Francisco had Jimmy G and they had Debo Samuel, but I don't know. I think we're finding out that Brock Purdy is as serviceable as Jimmy G. And I don't know that Samuel is the difference between playing San Francisco here or not considering the circumstances. Here's the one thing that the one concern, there's always a concern when you make a bet, but the one concern playing San Francisco first half is the fact that the Cardinals have been real good, six and one against the spread in their last seven. However, I'll counter that by saying San Francisco at home this year is five and three first half against the spread. And those five wins are by 28, 20, 10, eight, and seven. Here we lay seven and a half. Um, I think the circumstances dictate that they can win by more than that. You know, I'm not going to argue anybody off a full game because like you said, Prez, there'll be scoreboard watching going on. And if the Dallas game is, um, you know, if they're winning, San Francisco's got to win. But I'm going to try first half here. San Francisco minus seven. Um, like I said, I wouldn't argue anybody off full game.